Hey, beautiful people. Thanks for checking me out today too. So as I promised you early on, this is one of many updates about the Fetu Afeshe 2024. Now, this particular place in a short is significant to Cape Coast in many ways. And I'm here to give you a brief information about this particular place. Now, way back up to the somewhere in the 90s, this place was known as Aprotec because it was one of the sites chosen by the government then for the appropriate technology um, buildings and stuff. Okay, so many years down the line, it came to be known as community gardens because someone used it for a resort. But to the indigenous, to the locals of Cape Coast, it was still Bakado or Asasipa. In as much as what I've said so far adds up to the history of this place, one of the most important and significant thing about this particular place is the fact that it is one of the sites inhabited by the first group of people who entered this particular space we call Cape Coast after they broke away from the larger Akan group who were resident in Techiman in those days. Now, this particular group which inhabited this particular space you are seeing now is the Nkum Asafo Number no. 4 Company. And it is for this reason that they are usually referred to as or they are they go by the appellation Tetewekro, meaning the ancient town founders or the ancient town openers. Nanakwabuna Fosu the deity resident in this lagoon you're seeing entered into a covenant with the people who settled there as well as those other groups which later joined the very first group. And the covenant was that simple, that every year a certain ritual is supposed to be performed for him. And this particular ritual is what has become known as Bakache. And it is celebrated or this ritual is um, performed yearly to Nanakobna Fosu and the 77 deities of the land of Cape Coast. At this point, I will entreat you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Make sure to give me a like as a way of motivating me. And also, when you subscribe, make sure you turn on the bell notification icon so that whenever I drop a new video, you will be the first to notice. Aside hosting the Bukate ritual, this particular site will also be where the canoe regatta organized between the seven Asafu companies will take place. Last year in Kum Asafu won, the previous year they won as well. So are they going to make it three in a row or others will come and claim the prize? Let's see. As you may have seen from the shot, you can see that a lot of workers are on site putting the place in shape for the Bagatui rituals, which is almost um, um, a week away from now. And another interesting thing that is happening is the facelift being given to the Akom Night location, precisely the shrine of Nana Kobana Fusu who is the deity in the lagoon as stated early on. You can see workers on site putting the place in shape. A shed has been provided for the priests, the priestesses, the drummers, and every other person who come around to play a specific role so that they may be free from the element in some way. Also, there is a changing room at the right side of this particular shed so that all other people who would want to, you know, ease themselves or even have a changeover, change of clothes or anything, and go in there and then do it without any kind of interference or anyone else noticing anything. So, all said and done, this is the little update I can bring you so far, but I will assure you to stay tuned for more because a lot, a lot is up for you. Okay, folks, so we are done with today's update on the Fetu Afeshe 2024. So we came to the community gardens where the um, canoe regatta will be held for the Bakate festival or the Bakate ritual, if you like. Okay, so we are done and I'll be looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Stay tuned for more updates on the Cape Coast Fetu Afeshe 2024. I'm out.